This video is sponsored by Squarespace. What's going on guys, Vincent here from the creative dojo.net. Welcome to the After Effects Creative Video Tutorial. Today we're actually talking about a new feature in the After Effects 23 beta. They finally brought selectable track mats right within After Effects. Go ahead and go to your Creative Cloud app, download beta and try it out right now. But inside After Effects, make sure that your modes column is selected. So go ahead and right click, go to columns, make sure that the modes are selected so you can see the new track mat stuff right here. And in the past, the track mat dropdowns included stuff like alpha mat, luma mat, alpha mat inverted, so on and so forth. And you had to have your mat layer and your actual layer of interest kind of stacked on top of each other with your texture down below. And if you want to use the same texture for multiple layers, you would need to have different instances of the same layer underneath your layer and it just kind of cluttered your timeline. And it was just very, very, very messy. So now if you want to, we can go into all of our shape layers, for example, go to track mat, and now we can select an actual layer for our mat. So I'm going to select my paper texture one and it'll use one instance of my texture mat right here and apply it to all three layers. That way I don't have to duplicate this texture layer all three times for all three shapes and it just kind of clutters my timeline. And not only that, but now we still have and retain our ability to use alpha mats and luma mats and inverted and stuff. So if you look at this right hand column right here, it'll show that the luma mat is selected. If we wanted to use alpha mat, we can go ahead and change all those to alpha mats. And we can also invert it as well. So not very, very helpful in this demonstration, but I'll show you again in a different example. Um, but basically you still have the Luma mats and inversions ready to you with these little icons on the side right here. And we can select different textures for different shapes and it's all nice and clean and it's clutter free. And this is a great, fantastic feature because I know that it took a lot of work and a lot of overhauling of the After Effects code and how it works and how it renders in order to make this possible. So this is a very, very, very welcome feature. Another example, I have a matte layer right here. We can go ahead and change all these mats to that matte rectangle. So right now it's looking a little bit funny because it's using a luma mat right now, but we want to just use an alpha mat. So we can go ahead and change all that stuff there. And then we want to invert it. So we can go ahead and invert it for all the layers right here. And so we have something like this, pretty cool. And again, you can always disable it from an individual basis. So you can map things out and do invert it for one layer and map for this other layer. Another thing you can do is also enable effects, for example. So we can go into the mat and we can apply, for example, a Venetian blinds under transitions. And then we can go ahead and increase the completion and change it to maybe like 45 degrees, for example, and change the width. You get a nice little texture like this. And we can play around with the different mats and create different looks. And you know, you can play around with alpha mats and luma mats, and you kind of get the idea. But it's a pretty cool way to kind of play around with mats and kind of keep things tidy. Don't forget that effects are rendered before the matte effect applies. But if you use layer styles, that will apply after the matting effect applies. Something to keep in mind. And also, if you're going to save to an older version of After Effects, make sure that you go ahead and use the file, save as, and select an older version of After Effects. And that will automatically, I believe, duplicate your textures and put it right below your shape layers automatically. Now, if you're opening an older project file to this new version of After Effects, it's not going to automatically clean up your timeline and use one instance that would be very, very destructive and dangerous. So just keep that in mind as you go forward. Now, one thing I wish they did, and I saw this a lot in the feedback as well, is that, you know, let's say you're using a paper texture for all these um, shapes, for example. And, you know, you also want to combine that with our matte little rectangle right here. And you can't really do that because every single layer already has a matte selected. But what would be cool in future updates in the future version of After Effects is the ability to combine or select multiple track matte layers right from the dropdown. So we can select our paper texture one and select our matte shape layer as well and kind of combine mats together and you know mix and match that way you can keep things very very clean but have the robust controls of selecting multiple mats in after effects so before i go i want to give a quick thanks for a sponsor over at squarespace for sponsoring today's video squarespace is the one platform to create an amazing website with its very store online business or portfolio they have amazing themes to choose from fully customizable so you can make the way you want it to look like without having any code knowledge required they have awesome 24-hour support and best of all i've used your promo code dojo at checkout you can actually save 10 percent off your order and support the digital so check it out over at squarespace.com slash dojo squarespace then i'm going to place to create an amazing website so that is the selectable track map layer feature right within after effects beta 23 hopefully it finds its way to the public release very 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 soon let me know what you guys think in the comments down below about this new feature give this video a thumbs up for the youtube algorithm subscribe for more videos like this and i'll see you guys next time bye guys